Hi, this is Uday. In this video tutorial, we will try to explore what is top and offset fetch in the SQL Server. So that these are the filters based on rows and ordering, where top filter has been used since uh, SQL Server 7.0, and offset fetch was introduced in SQL Server 2012. Let's try to understand them one by one uh, using examples. I have got this table uh, with employee details. If I want to select or few rows from the top of the list, uh, what I can do is I can simply use the top option in my select query. Let's see this query where I just wanted to retrieve first top 10 rows from the employee table. I can write select top 10 and followed by either star or the column names from employee. This gives me the result of the first top 10 rows of this of this table. Similarly, we can also use top option with a percent keyword in which SQL Server calculates the number of rows to return based on the percent here. The query says select top 10 percent star from employee. Here the query says select top 10 percent star from employee where the entire list of employee table consists of 14 rows and top 10 percent of those 14 rows would round it up to 2. Hence my query result will be first top two rows from the list. The top option can also be used using the order by clause in the select query where the order by clause in the select query defines the presentation of a query result. So thus the top option is mainly relies on two elements as part of its specification. First the number or the percentage of rows to return and second is the ordering of result. The interesting fact is that when top is specified with uh, the order by, the order by clause serves as dual purpose in the query. So one purpose is to define the presentation ordering for the rows in a query result and another purpose is to define which row to filter for the top. So with all these benefits, the top option is very practical type of filter, but it has some shortcomings as it does not support skipping capabilities. Like if I want to skip top 5 rows and then fetch next 3 rows, I couldn't be able to do that using the top option. So in order to overcome this, the standard SQL defines a top like filter called offset fetch that does support skipping capabilities and this makes it very useful for ad hoc paging purposes. Let's try to understand it using uh, the examples. So here I have the same table wherein uh, my query is simply to select all the employee details ordering by the employee ID. So one thing to note that the offset fetch option is considered as a part of order by class which normally serves as a presentation ordering purpose. By using offset clause we can indicate how many rows to skip and by using the fetch clause we can indicate how many rows to filter after the offset or after the skipped rows. So in this query we are trying to retrieve all the employee details which are ordered by employee ID and we are trying to skip first five rows and try to fetch the next three rows only. So in this scenario first five rows wouldn't be uh, the part of the result set but row number six, seven, eight, eight would be the part of the result. This way we can use offset fetch to retrieve the data by skipping few rows in the select query. So let's try to summarize what exactly the offset fetch is. The query that uses offset fetch must have an order by clause. So without order by there cannot be an offset fetch option and the fetch clause is not supported without an offset. Since like we cannot pull out the rows uh, using a fetch clause without skipping the indicated rows uh, using an offset clause. The offset clause without fetch is allowed. In such scenarios, the query skips the indicated number of rows and returns all remaining rows in the result. So this is the basic information of uh, top and offset fetch options uh, in the select query. I hope this video is useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.